Good morning, everyone. This is going to be racing pigeons, breeding racing pigeons, part eight, young racing pigeons, part eight. Now, I could go out to my loft and show you pigeons and talk about them all day. But these videos are not about the pigeons I have or anyone else has. These videos are really focused for beginners, that you understand what's important for your racing pigeons. And today, we're going to talk about iodine. Again, remember that grass outside in the soil? In India, there is a large amount of iodine deficiency. The soil over there does not contain a lot of iodine. So it's pretty easy to be deficient in it. I got a couple notes here I want to read. Your body needs iodine to make thyroid hormones. We know about hormones, don't we? If you got the book, you know about them. Those hormones control met metabolism and help with the brain and bone develop, development during pregnancy, I would imagine, within the egg as well, that the birds are not retarded. Iodine deficiency can add to that. One source of iodine for people is iodized salt. In fact, they had to put the iodine in the salt so we wouldn't have deficiencies. Putting a tablespoon of this out to your birds, free, you know, not free-ranging, but just letting them pick it go a long way in providing iodine to your pigeons. There's other ways of providing it. They don't need much, but they do need it. They don't manufacture it within the bodies. What I just read you here is about metabolism. That metabolism has a lot to do with the way the birds are active, how they fly, and also how they think. Pigeons do think. It's very important for your pigeons. Hormones from iodine also affect the bones in your pigeons. They need all these things to grow properly. So it's a mineral that you definitely want to be sure you're providing to your pigeons. Now, there's a lot of ways to do that. Oyster shell contains iodine. Some flyers give their pigeons seaweed, and they rave about it. How much better their birds fly. How much better their birds look. Is it possible that those flyers had an iodine deficiency, and when they gave them the seaweed that it picked them up, it picked the birds up, helps their immune system, helps that thyroid gland produce the hormones that are necessary in the body. So, again, be sure you're providing some iodine. A lot of ways to do it, but make sure Many grains are grown in soil that are deficient in iodine. Pellets contain some. It's a good way to provide it. They don't need a lot. Okay.
I think you get the gist of it. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs down. Please subscribe. And thank you for watching.